guys. So I just wanted to make a little quick video on phase makers. There's been a lot of talk lately on, you know, three phase in your shop and what's the easiest way to make it. And after Keith Rucker's video on uh, the big giant phase maker he's got, he probably needs it for that shop. But I kind of wanted to just go over a few things um, that I seem to have in my particular shop. Now, whether that applies to yours or not, I don't know. But this is what I got going on. So what I've got here is I've got a contactor, a couple of, uh, sorry, two contactors, a little relay, and then over here on the wall, three phase, which my three phase maker on and off whenever I so desire. Down here behind the lathe, oh, you know what, I'll show you right here. I got a 10 horsepower, three phase, Y style motor. Now up here, I've got a circuit breaker that is for my phase maker. Uh, two legs of my phase maker. And I got a big giant capacitor. This one is 300 to 360 microfarads. And I got another one in here that's even bigger. Doesn't necessarily need to be. Here, I'll get you get close up with that bad boy. Sorry, you guys are probably gonna be sick after this video. Uh, but all I gotta do, put my phase maker on, boom, 10 horsepower motor comes on. You can probably hear it down there just uh, chugging right along. And now I have three phase to run my 10 horsepower lathe, one horsepower bridge port, and I have two three horsepower uh, speed air compressors. They're just Baldor motors, WAG motors, whatever. Um, got that all tied in together. Um, and now with this on, I can run anything in the shop I want. And it's 10 horsepower. I can even start my 10 horsepower lathe. Now I can start my 10 horsepower lathe and start in turn my bridge port. While they're all running, chugging along, I got everything going, boom, my compressor comes on and starts running. No big deal. And it's and it's because everything's tied on the third leg together. So if I have my 10 horsepower uh, lathe motor running and I turn my bridge port on, they all kind of just sync together and kind of pull off of each other. Um, once the motor's up and running and turning, I can actually turn the third leg completely off to all of my machines and they'll not even skip a beat. They'll just keep chugging right along. So <laughs> if you're worried that you know, you're not gonna be able to get something just because it's three phase, that is not true. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, this is just a rotary type phase maker. So, I guess if you have any questions, put them in the comments. There's gonna be a ton. <laughs>